Hello, my name is Joey Grable, and I'm a font maker, an illustrator, and graphic designer on the West Coast. And today I'm here to show you how to install the font that you just downloaded from my shop, or from anywhere online. First, what you're going to want to do is open up your Finder, if you're on the Macintosh, or the Window Explorer, Windows Explorer on a PC. Um, in the Downloads folder of my Mac, I have this file, Concourse Display slash Revival Font dot zip. You should also see that in the Windows PC folder of your Downloads folder. And what you're going to want to do on Macintosh is you can right click and open with your archive utility or an unarchiver or you can just double click a zip file on Mac and it should unzip that file into a folder here. On the PC it's a similar process. You can right click on the zip and go to uncompress on the PC and it should give you this folder. The first file you'll find inside the concourse display folder is a user guide. I recommend reading through it if it's your first time downloading a font of mine. It has instructions on how to install your font, licensing information, font support info. If you have any questions you can always email me directly. My contact information is on my website and at the end of the presentation. The main folder you're going to want to look for is the font files install folder. So depending on your system, if you have a Mac or a PC, you're going to want to grab whichever version you're working with. So I'm on a Mac, I'm going to want to grab this concourse display dot OTF. And what I'm going to want to do is open it with this program font book. That is the default font installation program on Macintosh. The default font installer on PC is called character map. So if you're on a PC, you can double click the font and it should automatically install in character map. But on the Macintosh, just double click that OTF and it will open up a little window that says install font and the version that you're installing is display. Just click on install font in the lower right hand corner and it'll run a little bit and it should give you, if you've already downloaded the, and installed the font before, it'll give you a dialog that says you've already installed this font, just ignore that. If it's your first time downloading it, you won't get that prompt. And you should have the font that you just installed in your font book now. As you can tell, it's in my users folder, all my fonts. I got concourse right here highlighted. It has some base text to start with, but now we can just type whatever we want now that we have it installed. We'll go hello world, a little snippet, and Maybe there's a ligature TH. Thank you for watching. Well, that's how to download and install a font on Mac and PC. It's a similar process, just different programs. Once it's installed on your computer, you should have access to it across your uh, computer programs, like Adobe Suite, PageMaker on Windows System, whichever one you're working with. And I just want to say thank you. Hope you learned something, and happy designing.